Hey everyone, and welcome to this IPICO tutorial on how to create a UID file using the IPICO Tag Scanner software along with your IPICO registration reader. Alright, so to begin we're going to need to go ahead and make sure that we're connected to the computer properly. And you can do that just by going into your device manager on the computer and checking to see if uh, you've got the IPICO DFRR COM port showing up. If you don't, um, you should be able to go through the video that I created uh, regarding the create or excuse me regarding the installation of the registration reader, and that should help you uh, troubleshoot this. Okay. Um, once you've done that, just keep an uh, an eye on or, or, or just kind of jot down what that COM port number is, and then we're going to come over here into the actual Tag Scanner software, and we're going to go under Options, select Serial Port and make sure that we've got the one that we're connected to selected. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to click Start. All right, so to begin with, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take, I've got about 10 tags here, and I'm going to go ahead and start scanning those. And as you'll see as I'm scanning them, the number next to it increases incrementally by one. Now if I want to go in there, and let's say I go to number six, and I want to change this. Say that uh, somebody has already used numbers 6 through 10, so I want to jump to number 11. I can go ahead and just type that in there, click off, and then continue along my way. Okay, and you'll see that it starts picking up right where I left off. Okay, so it's really, really simple. Um, this is going to be the program that you're going to use if you're not using active timing. Um, and once you've created this, uh, you can go ahead and just click save and then save it as a text file so I'm going to create something here I'm just going to call it uh, test to UID I'm going to just save this to my desktop so I can find it easier All right, and then I'll open it up so that you can actually see it okay so this is what it's going to look like and you can see that it actually it's got these columns and it's actually separated just by column or excuse me by commas um, so it's got one and then it's got the UID number to the UID number and so on and so forth and you can see where we've changed it to 11 and it picked up and it went on just like we intended it to now if you're not using um, active timing it may be a little bit different for you uh, how the, depending on how that software the timing software you're using actually incorporates these files a lot of them are using CSV files as their uh, upload format. That's okay. I would just recommend that you don't edit these files inside of Excel. Uh, the reason being that they can actually change these numbers right here, the actual UIDs. Uh, they can be changed to scientific notation accidentally. And then if you save over that, it'll actually mess up your, your runner's uh, times as they're, as they're crossing. It won't actually pick up their, their run times properly. All right, so um, just kind of keep an eye on that. If you are using active timing, um, you're going to want to go ahead and delete these headers up here and just leave it as, as it is, OK? So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And that's pretty much it. Well, thanks for watching, guys.